At Shell Beach today, the 164 men and women who died during Hurricane Katrina were remembered as they have been every year since the storm. WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis has that story from St. Bernard. Members of the community and parish leaders were here on Shell Beach today, commemorating the 11th anniversary of the day Hurricane Katrina made landfall and changed life forever here in St. Bernard Parish. And officials tell me they plan to be here every single year on August 29th, even if just one person plans to attend the event with them. How sweet the sound. Hurricane Katrina left a trail of destruction in St. Bernard Parish, major flooding and homes and cars thrown all around. But 11 years later, Parish President Guy McGinnis says things are looking so much better. We are in a different phase of recovery now. We're concentrating on neighborhoods and quality of life. Um, things for our children to do on a daily basis after school and on the weekends. McGinnis says in the next decade, they expect even more growth. We're going to connect, to, like I said earlier, to the city, and we're going to enjoy a, a population shift to St. Bernard because we are safe, because our schools are great, and because we're just a great place to raise a family. But as the parish and residents continue to progress past the devastation of Katrina, they vow to never forget all that was lost in the storm. Mary Labatt, Gladys LeBlanc, Mary Lind. So it's so um, important for us to do that and to make sure that uh, uh, for any family member or friend or any part of the citizen, citizenry wants to be here to remember Katrina on an annual basis that we're here every um, August 29th at 9 o'clock in the morning. Reporting in St. Bernard Parish, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.